Hi everyone, welcome to Pasa. Today we will learn about long call option trading strategy. So wherein we will understand how the strategy is to be built and most important of all, we will first understand in which market conditions the strategy is suitable. And then we will understand how in various various conditions we can keep on you know, uh, optimizing our long call option trading strategy. So see, to be very honest, it is one of the most simplest strategies, which is you just go ahead and buy a call option. But how can we go ahead and optimize it is something what we will learn in today's video. So to start off with, whenever you are talking about long call and whenever you want to deploy a long call, first thing uh, what you need to make sure is the direction. Long call will make you money only if the market goes up. So how does that happen is, so we all know that in options there is intrinsic value and there is a uh, time value which is extrinsic value. So what happens is when the underlying goes up, so the intrinsic value of the call option, it also keeps on going up and eventually due to which the premium goes up. And this is the whole reason why long call makes us money when the market goes up. Now coming to uh, the actual fact, the, the thing is we need to also identify if the market is going to go up or not. So I use very simple trick which is named as built up. I just watch out what a uh, built up market has witnessed in last uh, 8 to 10 days. If I see a lot of longs, that means a lot of bulls are aggressive in the market. If I see a lot of shots, that means a lot of bears are already aggressive in the market. So basically, whenever market goes up, it will follow a trend that it will have those up moves, then it will stop, then the, again it will have up moves and then again it will stop. So basically, if I'm doing a positive side trade, if I want to deploy a long call, what I want is a lot of longs to be there in the system which will validate the fact that, okay, the uptrend which is happening in the Nifty that has been supported by most of the bulls. So for that, I'll just go to built up script symbol. Okay. So over here, you will get to see uh, built up for all the FNS scripts. L is indicating long, L is indicating long and winding. S is indicating short, S is indicating short coverage. Now what I'm interested in is uh, future OIH, which is historical built up. Now just check this out uh, what's happening in Bank Nifty. A lot of longs are getting accumulated with all the dips in Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty might have uh, corrected in last couple of sessions, but the dips in Bank Nifty are led by profit booking. These are not a fresh shots which are uh, leading to the fall in Bank Nifty. Only the existing logs which are there in the system, those are getting unwinded and due to which there is a minor dip happening in Bank Nifty. So now how do I use this information? Simple. If you see a lot of greens, a lot of longs, that will tell you a lot of bulls are active. They're interested in the further upcoming move. If you see a lot of shots, that means uh, there are a lot of bears who are active. They are expecting some kind of negativeness. So simple. The trick what I follow is just come to built up historical and just see what built ups are moved. Are there a lot of longs or are there are or there are a lot of shots? So I can clearly see there are a lot of longs. That means the long call strategy would be one of the good strategies to deploy in such conditions. Now coming to the second thing. Now when we talk about long call trading strategy, so we need to be cautious about the time as well. That means if I'm anticipating a breakout, that breakout should happen in um, maybe one or two days, maybe one or three days is maximum what I'm talking about. Because if you see a long call option trading strategy, a lot of theta will be decaying from the option trading strategy. So let me just show you. So in options architect, we can construct any option trading strategy and analyze the payoff on the go. So this is nifty. So what I'm doing, I am buying a call option, which is a simple long call. So this graph is showing us on what various levels of nifty, how much profit or loss I would make. Say for an instance, market goes at 19,131, roughly around 3,000 rupees uh, by uh, the expiry on one lot is something what I will use. If market goes here, which is at 19,522, roughly around 3,000 rupees is, would be my profit uh, on the expiry date. Similarly, you can tweak around with uh, the day sliders as well to check T plus and PNL. From the current day, if you move two days ahead, on what levels, how much profit or loss approximately you would make is something which is shown to us over here. Now, coming to the most important fact of this strategy, which is uh, theta. So what is theta? Theta is nothing but how much premium you are paying to time. So over here you are paying 572 rupees for this option strategy to hold it till tomorrow. For one additional day you hold this option trading strategy, 572 rupees as of now are going to get decayed because of time. You hold this for two days, 
then you calculate it would be somewhere around 1100. If you hold it for three days, then it would be roughly around 1500-1700. Okay. So basically also account for theta. Don't be in the option strategy for so long that eventually you don't make any result because you lose out to time. So what I would say is in a uh, uh, long call option strategy, typically one to three days is what uh, your holding should be. Not more than that because eventually the crux of the strategy, it, it gets taken away by uh, the theta decay. Now coming to the strike selection, which is uh, most important. So whenever you are trading in market, whenever you have a directional view, whenever you want to go long on Nifty or you want to deploy a long call option trading strategy, before you select strike price, always ask yourself a question, what is your conviction on the view? You think that uh, the market will go up, but how convinced you are that the market will go up? If you are highly convinced, then you know ATM would be the charge strike price. If you are not very much convinced, uh, if your conviction is low, but still you think that the market might go up, that is again a view, right? So with that times, I will still prefer an OTM option. So I'll tell you why. So let me just take you to option chain very quickly. There we will understand the concept of Delta. So let's say option chain. By the way, you can use the search panel and access your favorite analytics. So here is the premium and what I'm interested right now in is Delta. What is Delta? How much your option premium will rise or fall due to one point movement in the underlying. That means from the current price, if Nifty goes up by one point, 19,400 call will go up by 0.46 rupees. If Nifty goes down by one point, it will go down by 0.46 rupees. Okay, so basically, if in case of call option, if market goes up, the premium will go up. If market goes down, the premium will go down. But how much is shown to us by Delta? Delta will tell you that if there is a specific movement that you are expecting, how much your option premium will move is shown to us by Delta. Number one. Number two thing is Delta will also show us the probability of option expiring in the money. ATM option, how much would be the probability of uh, ATM option expiring in the money? 50-50. Either it may expire uh, in the money or it may expire out of the money. Second thing, if uh, what is the probability of out of the money option to expire in the money? low probability compared to ATM. That is the reason if you see the deltas are very, very small. What is the probability of in the money option expiring in the money? The probability is relatively higher because those options already hold some intrinsic value and they already are in the money options. Now, how do I use this information? Simple. You know that if market goes up, how much your options will go up? If I'm convinced that the market will go up and if I have a very strong conviction on the market, I will prefer at the money strike. Why? Because let's say if the market goes up, this will give me money as per 0.45 delta. Correct? But if my conviction is low, that means the market might fall as well, right? So at that time, I will prefer this particular strike price, maybe this one, 19.450. Why? Because if it goes down, it will go down by 0.36 paisa. But this will go down by 0.46 paisa. Right? When my conviction is low, the, the probability of market falling is high. But still I want to participate. Now how I can participate? I can play around with the 0.4 delta strike price. Wherein even if I go wrong, I lose just 0.4 rupees for every wrong uh, move in the underlying. Every one point wrong move in the underlying. But why I will not play around with uh, in the money options? Because those options, the delta is very, very high. Let's say if my view fails, if I predicted that the market will go up and if does, that does not happen, then I might take a big hit over there. That is the reason for high and medium conviction, ATM is the strike price. For slightly lower conviction, OTM is the strike price. And this is how using architect tool, option chain tool, and also historical built-ups, we can uh, play around and deploy long call option trading strategy very seamlessly. So do check out Architect Future OIH and uh, Option Chain tool from the link in the description box below and uh, deploy long call trading strategies like a data driven trader.